Blessings to all of you beautiful beings. It's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, incredible souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. On today's video, We are doing a Tamed Wild unboxing. I believe this is for the month of September. And, well, it is a wonderful monthly box filled with magical goodies based around pagan practice. And for the price of this box, it is pretty darn awesome. So I'm going to have all the information linked down below. And let's get right into what goodies are in store for this month. The boxes they started coming up with have been snug. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Ooh, what do we have? Wild medicine. Ooh. Oh, I love this. So we have some herbs and their uses and properties and information. I love the little booklets that they have and that they started putting in almost every single box. That is just amazing. So here's the booklet. And I'm gonna give you a couple sneak peeks on the information within. I love how it's so concise and small and not fully detailed, but enough for you to get the picture and be able to use it. For example, we have Mugwort, botanical name Artemisia vulgaris. Description, to some mugwort is considered an invasive weed. This tall plant thrives in uncultivated areas. Historical uses. Historically, mugwort is used as an overall tonic. Because of its bitterness, it's been a part of the long history of culinary traditions and also is incense in ceremony. Magical uses. Mugwort is considered a divinatory herb and has long been used in lucid dreaming rituals or to enhance psychic abilities. Lore. Mugwort was given its name because in Europe, the herb was originally used to flavor beer prior to hops. Very cool. So, information such as that within. Then we have ritual tools. Oh no, that's that's what's in the box. Then we have the Persephone's torch information thing. Information little pamphlet. All right, let's see what kind of things we have in here. It smells quite nice. First, ooh, we have a charm. We have a charm to add to their charm color. Oh, I love it. This might become a necklace pendant for me. It is petite. It has gold. I tend to wear more gold than I do silver. And it doesn't want to come out of its little packet. Oh my gosh. It is. So cute and it's double sided so on one side here we have a little moon with a bunch of little divots and details and then the other side we have the same moon but with a gold crescent overlay it flies too can you believe it Wow! Okay, that must, might be one of my favorite charms that I've received from them. Then we have some incense cones. I've really started enjoying using these incense cones. Not these in particular, just incense cones in general. Let's see how they smell. I see some cloth-like thing in there. Ooh. Smells a little sour and floral. Mmm, it smells really good. I really like the smell of this. Then we have Artisan Herbal Tea. Contains, I'm not gonna read it all the way. I just read the black tea part. Let's see what it smells like first.
clove. There's a lot of clove and orange in here. Oh, it is a wonderful orange peel, cinnamon, and natural fruit. Fruit, 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 fruit. Contains black tea, orange peel, cinnamon, and natural fruit flavoring. I smell clove. I smell a little bit of cinnamon. I smell a lot of the orange. Definitely smell clove in here. Mmm, it smells really good. It is a, it's gonna be like a really good hearty tea for like the colder months up ahead. It's perfect. So here is the tea. And you get to see a little pouch on the inside. Super cool. And for this tea, we have the cutest spoon ever. I actually might know what manufacturer they got this from because I looked up things for my box and it's it's a potential to be in one of my boxes um, maybe not this maybe something similar but I have I, I definitely might know the manufacturer from these which is pretty darn cool it is so cute and petite you could never have enough spoons honestly like precious all right i see this big thing what are you Ooh, i love the colors are you altar cloth are you what are you are you <gasps> my new crafting best friend. So we have three pockets. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. I am either painting or like some sort of crafting when I just don't have enough hands to hold everything. Yep. That, that is exciting. All right, so these are the goodies inside this month's box. I believe nothing else hiding there. Nope, that should be it. Let's read about the items inside. So we have Wild Medicine Booklet. Learn about 100 magical and medicinal plants in our Wild Medicine Booklet. They repeated a couple things. Within this book, we've included the historical uses of each herb, forgotten plant lore, and suggestions for incorporating flowers, spices, and flora of all kinds into ritual and spell work. Awesome. Then we have a half apron. Many things make us feel magical from the tools we use to the books we read. Even the people in our inner circle can affect our energy. Ceremonial clothes are another element that can influence how we perceive ourselves during ritual and spell work. Like a superhero applying a mask or a magician donning on a cape. When we wear this apron, we invoke our inner alchemist, plant magus, and kitchen witch. Or artist. Then we have a leaf spoon, perfect for stirring tea or scooping herbs from jars. Incorporate this delicate spoon into your home apothecary or kitchen altar as you see fit. Then we have the Persephone amulet. Persephone is the springtime maiden, the queen of the underworld, and the keeper, also the initiator of mysteries. When she stands alongside her mother, Demeter, they represent the ebb and flow of seasonal vegetation, as well as the light and dark phases of the moon. There's more information in regards to the goddess, and then we have the cone incense. Place the cone incense in a burn safe bowl and let it smolder as you craft your ancestral offering. You can use the incense to represent the element of air in your altar, a pentagram, or in your home. It does not say the smell of it. Then we have Maban Maban. Our Maban tea is an uplifting blend of black tea, orange peel, and cinnamon chips. Brew two cups to close out today's rituals to show gratitude to Persephone for her service. Dedicate the first cup to her. Drink the second cup to ground yourself and recenter your energy. Um, you can definitely drink to Persephone if you've never worked with her or anything like that. Thank her for her services. But I would suggest providing more 
form of communication or interaction before you call upon a deity that you haven't worked with before. All right, so here are all of these wonderful goodies. I'm super excited for that. That's definitely my favorite thing in this box. Maybe the day, mm, I don't know. This was a pretty good box. Let me know what item was your favorite. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here. And if you've made it this far, comment down a paintbrush emoji. I think there's a paintbrush emoji. Paintbrush emoji in the comment section down below to let me know that you've made it all the way to the end. And in reference to this word, wonderful half apron that I'm gonna be using for artsy stuff. Yay! All right, so here's that. I shall see you all on the next video. Love you all, bye.